Well, folks, it's that time again for us to be together in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. I was uh, like to uh, apologize yesterday because there were like double, double bookings. And uh, same thing as tonight, we have three events that is going to happen. So I said, um, I cannot cancel it. We just have to go through with our nightly prayers, uh, but it'll be short it'll be quick i hope you don't mind because what's important really is for us to pray um for one another and of course pray for the world that's that's our goal right but anyway just giving a shout out to our people tonight we are seven in our uh, current viewing uh sally sawiko joyce acres uh yes i already included paul solf joyce atirawena de leon nancy shaw is here bob d and then, of course, Jean and Darlene Rhodes, they are here. And my Comare, Lani de Jesus. God bless you po. And, of course, um, our friends in Australia, um, Emil Allegra and family, Alison and Seb. And, of course, our family in Vancouver, um, May Espinosa and Bob. God bless you. So uh, we will continue on with this encouraging song. And I hope that uh, remember... God will always be with us. Here we go. When you walk through a storm, hold your head up high and don't be afraid. Of the dark, and at the end of the storm, there's a golden sky and the sweet silver song of a Oh, 
Amen, Pastor. You, you will never ever walk alone. And this is actually um, in connection with our Bible study tonight. Uh, it's such a um, blessing to know when, when things are um, according to <laughs> the will and plan of God. I didn't plan this, but um, I saw this passage yesterday. Oh, well, actually, this morning uh, when I was reading, finishing uh, the book of Hebrews in chapter 13. So that's that's what uh, we're going to study tonight. And if you have your Bibles with you, we are in Hebrews 13, chapter 13, verses 5 to 6. Okay, so let me just uh, make sure that you can read this i'm going to make it bigger there we go so like i said we i've been using this passage several times already but it has encouraged me um, in my ministry especially when uh, during the days when i was in my um when you were down low really and um didn't know what to do with with your life and so it, it became a promise in my heart that um, uh, the Lord really never left me okay <laughs> so uh, the Hebrew writer said in uh, chapter 13 verse 5 that says keep your lives free from the love of money okay I was exposed to that a lot of money <laughs> And be content with what you have. Okay? And be grateful. Be blessed with what you have. Because uh, ever since God has been blessing you, so you just have to look at those blessings and instead of being um, uh, anxious or worrying. Uh, when, 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 is the, when, when will you have uh, payments for your bills you know when when will when will the money come and how how are you going to pay for it you know that is not the attitude that god uh, wants us to have and that is uh, really a very selfish of ours you know uh, i mean god has been faithful in giving all that we need not really want but we need but what we need and so he said for he himself has said I'll never leave you or forsake you. So you have been hearing that from me several times. And this is where that passage is in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. And then it goes to 6 that gives us more encouraging uh, uh, words. So the Hebrew writer said, we can say with confidence that the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Okay, it, that, that is the culmination of our faith. Uh, the, we, we, we live here on earth uh, knowing that the Lord is just a prayer away. Okay, He's not far. He's not from a distance. <laughs> okay. Um, he, is, he is not uh, he's always listening so never think that if, if you have prayed for something and God hasn't answered you or he has not answered your prayers that means he is telling you no okay but the Bible said that we should keep on praying never stop praying that's what the Bible said um, and um hoping and praying that the Lord will hear our prayers. That is the attitude, really. And that's what He wants, is for us to persevere in everything that we do. Okay, So we have that confidence already. If you have a, a follower of Jesus Christ, if you love Jesus, if you, if you love the Lord, then confidently say that the Lord will always be with you. Okay, So if you want to check out this passage, this is in Hebrews chapter 13 verses 5 to 6 this is the word of the lord what do we say indeed thanks be to god amen all right so let me just uh, see if we have some new people 
Jim and Carol, they are here. God bless you. Yan po. And so we are now ready to pray. I hope that uh, your hearts are ready to speak to God. Listen to God as well. And pray for each other. And of course, pray for the world. Will you pray with me? Again, most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for tonight, uh, this Thursday night, for gathering us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this promise in the book of Hebrews that you will never leave us nor forsake us. We thank you, Father, for this promise that uh, keeps us alive and uh, encouraged because this is uh, what you want us to have in our hearts, and that is to completely trust you in our everyday lives in everything that we do and say we'll always do it for your glory we thank lord for our prayer warriors who are here and those who will be watching on later bless them as well hold them encourage them love them let them feel your presence father if they are feeling low if they are feeling uh weak and if ever they are experiencing any health issues, we are praying for healing in the name of Jesus, our Savior, our great physician and friend. Thank you, Father, for um, uh, just blessing us with your um, overflowing love and grace. Father, um, there are prayer requests here in our list. We are praying for Paul Saul's. We are praying for healing in the name of Jesus. Paul is now in St. Louis University Hospital and will go through a pacemaker tomorrow. We pray for a successful procedure, of course, and, and be with Paul at this time. Also, we continue to pray for uh, Kyra Tovar. This is the granddaughter of Auntie Sering Sanchez, who's also a prayer warrior here in our uh, nightly prayers. We pray, Father, that uh, she will not worry. Um, I believe that she she's she has she has a lot of um, work to do in school, uh, probably some examinations or uh, paper paper to be submitted, Lord God, to be completed. Pray, Father, that you will give uh, Kyra the wisdom, but remove that worrying heart because the promise is a promise we will forever be with her so pray for kyra and of course the, the tovar family bless them all in the mighty name of jesus christ our savior lord we continue to pray for of course israel and those who are still going through some uh, wars and conflict continue to pray for ben mendoza uh, Ruth, the sister of Dorothy K. Singer. Thank you, Lord, because she's now doing well. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Praying for Bob Gowen. Healing for Jerry Heeren. Um, Jim Funky, Lord God, who will go through some procedures. Please, Father, be with Jim and be with Maggie as well. Healing, of course, complete healing for uh, Virginia and Rob Croxford. We are Mario Papilla, uh, TD, Edith Calilia's friend, Muriel Manuel, uh, praying for Carter Whipple, Lois Lidi, Monica Arnold, and Leslie Palmer. Continued prayers for Frank Akers, Father, for good health and strong body as he continues your work together with Joyce, of course. Uh, Lee Healing for Lucy Haley. Betty Lewis, Susan Rowe, and Christine Arbuthnot, Denise Smiths, Joy Peterson, healing for Vildane Riley and Sam Abara, Russell Codia, Myron Shackey, healing for Glenn Grigsby, Cherry Hartsock, Larry Kemp, Jim Hartsock, Patty and Ross Huff, uh, Mrs. Lourdes de la Cruz, of course, John Tharp, healing for Don Stanley, Aaron Inkerman, Chris Serandis, Vicky Matlock, uh, Betty Cardenas, Helen Ham, Judy Long, Sherry Howarth, Father, Madison Smith, Ella Duggar, Olive Williams, Wendy Eicherman, 
Lel de Duckworth, Continued prayer, Prayers Father for Pastor Chad Cox, Raya, uh, Raya Cook, uh, Ellie Runyon, Lynn Stewart, Jan and John Brazier, uh, healing for Mark Cassidy, Lillian Carter, Ella Reno, and of course Sandy Wilson, Diana Hill, and Georgian Cassidy. Thank you, Father, for just blessing them and keeping them. Our cancer patients, of course, Carla Clouster Meyer, Reverend Dean Blackburn, Kathy Dealey Smith, Pam Linder, Denise Ford Smith, Jennifer, cousin of Angela Sarandis, Michelle Dooley, Laurie Wright, Joy Lutz, Mike Burns. Gideon, and of course, baby James Henry. Father, we continue to pray for Kuya Dan Manganti, Kamel Banag, and Brother Charles Granadosin, RJ Sali Suiko's son, our frontliners, military personnel, and health care workers, all our um, church leaders, um, general conference, Lord God is fast approaching this coming April 23 to uh, May 3rd. We are praying for guidance and uh, a very peaceful and successful gathering. Uh, bless all of those delegates who will um, vote on very important items in our denomination. But keep everyone, Lord God, safe. Many will be traveling. Father, we also are praying for our churches, uh, East Alton First and St. Paul. And the churches of our prayer warriors, may you continue to fill them, fill, fill each one, the Holy Spirit, most especially, Lord, their pastors, as they oversee the work, your work in their um, churches. And so thank you once again, Lord God, for uh, being with us tonight. May your name be praised forever. We pray all these in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who taught us to pray. Everyone, please, our Father art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen and amen Praise be to God for another uh, time of uh, prayer and um, fellowship. Uh, may you be uh, blessed by the Lord this this the whole weekend. Whole weekend, of course, the church this coming Sunday. Support your pastors, of course, and uh, pray for our travels because we are going to Kankakee, uh, Saint Mark United Methodist Church to do our third. Uh, concert tour for volunteers in mission um, music for mission concert we still have two this coming Sunday and next week we'll be in Chicago so keep us in your prayers magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat and may the good Lord bless you and keep you remember we love you uh, keep on hoping keep on praying keep on serving and keep on loving God with all your heart soul mind and strength. My name is Pastor Ed Ganadosin, and we will see you Sunday, of course, in our live stream if you're watching. And then, of course, we start all over in Monday at 5 o'clock, of course. All right. Uh, good night, po, and uh, be safe. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace and give you peace and give you peace and give you peace. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you and be gracious. Gracious, gracious. Oh.